Hey guys, in today's video we try to find out if Poseidon, the god of the sea, can be created underwater. And which mysterious creature is living inside Poseidon's belt? Lay claim. When you've been with me for a while, you know I've tackled this experiment before. Sculpting underwater, what a dumb idea, right? It's pretty much doomed from the start, because clay dissolves underwater. My Aquaman video stands as the saddest proof to this. Spoiler, it flopped. Why bother trying again, would someone wonder? Well, there is a certain magic in bringing clay to life. Sometimes it's through claymation, sometimes it's through crafting crazy detailed eyes, and sometimes it just makes sense to dunk your camera into the fishbowl, diving deep into crafting inside an aquarium. And Poseidon is one of these rare exceptions. This time we are charting a brand new course in crafting the ultimate Poseidon. This isn't just any figure, it's inspired by the iconic Fortnite character Ripley. You might remember my previous attempt in creating Ripley by using a balloon, but let's just say this was more PG-13 than intended. I've heard from quite a few concerned parents since then. So no balloons this time around. We are elevating our game with epoxy raisin. Exploring uncharted crafting waters. Crystal is on board, lending her expertise to craft the silicone mold and also sculpt those impressive Poseidon muscles as you, as you already have seen. And for me, well, I'm tackling what I like to call the manly arts. I'm creating the jewelry. And by exploring all these different pieces, we will unveil some very surprising elements there. But we'll get to this in a minute. In our community tab, I threw out a challenge. Who is living in Poseidon's belt? A huge thanks to everyone who tossed their imaginative ideas into the ring. Your creativity is the fuel for today's adventure. In a world where AI is being called upon to tackle climate change and broaden the horizon of human thoughts, we are taking it a step further. Now it's helping us to weave the tales of Poseidon's belt, drawing directly from your comments. So what fantastical creature has GPT, our digital storyteller, envisioned residing in the depth of Poseidon's mysterious belt? In the deep blue sea, where fish swim and secrets hide, there is a special place ruled by Poseidon, the king of the ocean. Among his treasures, there is a belt with a shell so dark and mysterious inside it, two green eyes glowing brightly. This is the home of Shellnate, a tiny but mighty guardian of the sea. Shellnate isn't just any sea creature. Some say he's Poseidon's youngest child, a baby who can control the waves with his laughter and call up on storms when he cries. Instead of a regular baby toy, he has a pacifier made from the brightest coral under the sea. Before we continue with the story, I want to highlight this working step. Crystal has created this awesome silicone mold, now filling with epoxy raisin. In the meantime, I'm diving deep. Ooh, what's that? 
taking care of Shellnade is Sally. She is known for singing the most beautiful songs about she cells and the ocean. Her voice is so lovely that even the ocean waves stop to listen. But life under the sea isn't always calm. Sometimes creatures that look like they've jumped right out of a video game try to disturb the peace. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Half of Poseidon is missing and the brain and the brain is inside his left knee. <laughs> I think we may have to create a different mold. What you can see right here is the result of trial and error for several days. This time a different silicone which really sticks to the clay model and hopefully we will also get a fully filled out epoxy raisin Poseidon. Where was I? Right. The people who want to disturb the peace. So they want to wake Shelnade up from his nap. But everyone knows that's a bad idea. Waking him up could unleash a huge storm. Let's now open the second form of silicone. This time it looks so much better. While Kiskel is preparing the epoxy raisin with some color, I am continuing the background story. People tell a funny story about Shellnate's shell. The joke it's filled with tiny sea grenades, with the glow from Shellnade's eyes being the only warning not to pull their pins. Oh, what do we got here? I think we can now gear up our clay Poseidon. I will work on top of the clay after oven hardening, I at least try to remove it and place it on the finished epoxy raisin Poseidon, where up to this point I have no idea if it is working or not. <laughs> Even with all these wild stories, everyone agrees on one thing. The sea is full of wonders and mysteries, like this beautiful fish. Have you recognized him before? Shellnade is one of its most special secrets. He reminds everyone, even those who watch from above the waves, to care for the ocean and marvel at its wonders. What an awesome background story! I got goosebumps, literally. And it was fully created by AI, but using all your comments, which you gave, and now let's see. <gasps> it worked! We've got an epoxy raisin Poseidon, which looks awesome. Crystal will give it a final touch with sandpaper and polish. As mentioned before, I now want to equip Poseidon with his jewelry, but let's try out something new. I'm using this polish to get this wet look on the whole body. And I personally love it. I think I even love this more than the solution I came up with during the Ripley video with the balloon. Now that the jewelry is finished and assembled, we can equip him. We can assemble him, but maybe we should give him some trousers first. The acrylic paint covers the secret parts 
and creates also the illusion that as if he is wearing some boxer shorts the metallic marker really made the jewelry shiny now that i've used the golden metal pen on all three greek fortnite skin gods it has become a kind of trademark for this series so it's essential that poseidon gets the same treatment and for the final touch we are painting poseidon with a smiling face in memory of shellnate what's still missing that's right the golden fish necklace we'll wrap around his neck and guys i guess that's it poseidon from fortnite myth and mortals in season two Thanks again everyone who gave amazing ideas for the Shellnade background story. What would you like to see next? Leave it down in the comments. As always, take good care, see you soon!